we want to use long division to find the quotient. We have 2,465 divided by 29. The first step is to write the quotient in long division form, which is this form here. So we'll write this as 2,465 divided by 29. And now we begin by considering digits in the dividend from left to right. So we first consider the two, but because two is less than 29, we must also consider the next digit. So then we consider 24, but again, because 24 is less than 29, we must also include the next digit of six. So we begin by considering 246, and we need to determine how many 29s there are in 246. Now that's not an easy question to answer. So one strategy would be to round 29 and 246 to the nearest 10 and determine that quotient. So 29 would round to 30, and 246 would round to 250. So we can use this quotient to help us determine how many 29s there are in 246. Well, because eight times 30 is equal to 240, and we subtract the remainder is 10, which is less than 30, this tells us there are eight 30s in 250, and therefore it's reasonable to assume there would be eight 29s in 246. So let's use eight as the first digit in our quotient, and we place the eight in the tens place value above the six. And now we multiply by the divisor. So eight times nine is 72. Perform an exchange with the seven. Eight times two is 16, plus seven is 23. And now when we find this difference, if it's less than the divisor of 29, the eight is correct. If it's greater than or equal to 29, the eight is not correct, we would need to increase the eight. So let's go ahead and subtract. Six minus two is four, four minus three is one. So notice how the difference is 14, which is less than 29, and therefore the eight is correct. The next step is to bring the next digit down. So we bring the five down, and now we need to consider 145. We need to determine how many 29s there are in 145. And again, that's not an easy question to answer, so let's go ahead and round both of these values to the nearest 10 to help us determine this quotient. Again, 29 would round to 30, and 145 would round to 150. So if we can determine how many 30s in 150, we can use that to help us determine how many 29s in 145. Well, because five times 30 is equal to 150, and because the remainder is zero, it's exactly five 30s in 150, so it's reasonable to assume there would be five 29s in 145. So we'll place a five in the quotient in the one's place value, and now we'll multiply by the divisor. So five times nine is 45, from an exchange with the four, Five times two is 10 plus four is 14. Notice how five times 29 is exactly 145. When we subtract, we get a difference of zero. And because we've used all the digits in the dividend, we're actually done. And because this last difference is zero, this means the remainder is zero. And therefore our quotient is 85. 29 divides evenly into 2,465. And therefore, we also know 29 and 85 are factors of 2,465. It also tells us that the quotient of 85 times the divisor of 29 equals 2,465. I hope you found this helpful.